God is raising up an army. Turn with me, if you will, to the book of Joel, chapter 2. God is raising up an end-time salvation army. I believe Booth saw this vision and God began but what the salvation has begun to become what they have become Booth would probably roll over in his grave if he saw what it's become today but God has a few God has a remnant, a salvation army that are marching. Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness, of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations." A fire devoureth before them. Behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them. And behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as horsemen so shall they run like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble as a strong people set in battle array before their face the people shall be much pained all faces shall gather blackness they shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun, the moon shall be dark. And the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. And who can abide it? Therefore also now saith the Lord. Turn ye even to me with all your heart. With fasting with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. 
blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breasts. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. How many know the bride's coming out of her closet? Even as the homosexuals are coming out of their closet, the bride of Christ is coming out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar. And let them say, spare thy people, O Lord. Give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Speaking of Israel. Oh my. Things are getting really heated up here. And uh, at this gathering in, two, in September here, gathering 2016, it's all about a solemn assembly. And they're already beginning to gather together And then eventually it's going to turn into weeping and mourning because it's going to get bad on this earth. Really bad. Really bad. But in the midst of all this, there is what's called the Salvation Army. In the midst of the weeping in the morning of the ministers. There is one like unto the Son of Man. Daniel saw it, and he couldn't eat bread many days. It troubled him so when he saw one like unto the Son of Man that came to the Ancient of Days, the Bride. the bride of Christ, the lamb's wife. How many know she's on the earth right now? She's veiled. She's under her veil. But soon, face to face, she will come with her heavenly bridegroom. She will come face to face and she will know, even as she's known, and she will shine on this earth with the glory of the living God. And all faces are going to gather blackness. And those things on this earth that man calls Eden, like the Garden of Eden, because of their billionaires, they have their all this wealth and they have their places that they call paradise, will be like, the desert comparing to the bride of Christ. How glorious, how beautiful, how majestic she is shining in the glory of her beloved. The true riches, the heavenly Eve, the last Eve with her last Adam, Jesus Christ. You can get caught up in Eden if you want to here on this earth, but there's going to be an Eve. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just as there's a last Adam, there's going to be a last Eve. Jesus is going to have a bride. And when the world beholds her, they won't be able to find anything on this earth that can even compare. 
they will become sorrowful. A fire is going to devour before her. Hallelujah. God is raising up his end time army, the salvation army. I believe with all my heart that William Booth saw the vision of this. He tried to follow in this, but it wasn't time. It wasn't time. Look what the Salvation has be, Salvation Army has become today. Nothing but a secular business. Selling clothing. Become a corporation. So sad. But God still has a remnant that's following on to know the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The enemy is under her feet. Ashes under the soles of her feet. Hallelujah. Praise God. Have your way, Lord. Glorify yourself. Glorify your name in this earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in this earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah.